back. My eye getting better. I have peak eye. Had infection in my eye. You know what I'm saying? Few broken blood vessels, but matter of fact, got to put some of little steroids in real quick. Nah, I really got to put steroids in my eye. Every four hours. Ah, that burns. But no, nah, man, it's been a while besides me doing my organ videos and updates. I want to do a little heat check video, you know. That boy Perk been busy, so he ain't even been trying to be my cameraman lately. I know you can watch the video, but I blame him. Y'all blame him. We're supposed to be doing, like, a lot of skits, whatever. We're supposed to be doing some pranks, but, man, we haven't been able to cloud like that, man. I know y'all love Perk on social media. Hey, check me out. Perk is a funny guy. I'm telling y'all. Y'all got to follow him on social media, man. Follow him on Snapchat. Yeah, I'm going to put it up there. Y'all follow Perk on Snapchat. He's a funny guy. You know what I'm saying? Because he just let the truth be known. Majority all the time, though. For real, for real. <laughs> but now, nah, man, if we get into the heat check, it said, man, basically, y'all don't know. I don't want to say I'm a sneakerhead because I don't got like thousands of shoes. I got like 50 at most. I got like 50 at most, six. I sold, I, I, I sell shoes, you know what I'm saying? I'm not one of those hype beasts, you know what I'm saying? I ain't nothing all that, you know what I'm saying? I got 12, uh, 11 pair of shoes right now. I'm gonna show y'all that I bought since January. Um, A few videos ago, y'all already know when I was going to Vegas, I had ordered a few, I got a few. So those gonna be in there, like the Pro Tro Foles, um, the Kyrie, um, I Keats. But we finna get into it, I'm finna break it down, show y'all, you know what I'm saying? We are gonna talk a little bit about shoes. Um, I also got another pair of shoes that was supposed to make this video, but they ain't get in yet, you know? On my snap, I did say I was done buying shoes after this box. It's a shoe I'm I'm gonna reveal with y'all. It's gonna be a a reveal of the shoe that I haven't opened yet. The box me up for like a week or two because I was supposed to been do this video, but I haven't did this video yet. But you know, I got kicks. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show y'all a little something. I'm telling y'all right now, so don't comment. I don't wear Jordans. Like I got Jordans. You know what I'm saying? My favorite Jordans are the Jordan Twenties. So I got Jordans, but I've been trying to like just break off and disconnect from getting Jordans. Only drugs I will still buy now is ones. I'm just trying to stop my shoes, period. But just like the Nike Reacts, the Elements, them shoes just, man, I just love those shoes. So I just always, I'm always trying to get my hands on those. Never really can get them. I feel like Sneak App is just a setup, man, honestly. But um, the new Nike Presto that's, that's dropping, they just dropped a, a female wave, I think today, or coming out, they like yellow, like they used to call them. The Honeybee is a super dope. So the new Presto Elements, you know how I get them. I got the the regular old Presto. These my everyday shoes right here. They just so comfortable. And I just, they been beat up. And these are my shoes I go to every day. Like, I'm not tight. They really, just just where I live at, you really can't step out with all your, your heat. My Nike Presto has been my go-to shoes. You know what I'm saying? I end up not slipping, falling. I didn't need boots this morning, even though it got to like negative 50. Yeah. Negative 50 where I'm at. Starting with... The Nike Element reacts. I don't got a box for these, so I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't like go inside like a box right now. So and I'm not big on that. Like now I'm finna I'm I'm switching over to get like the clear boxes. So yeah. I actually got these in Vegas at a good price. They was like half off, so I got them for like 80. I'm telling you, man, if you like walking around shoes or uh, you the type to wear like the the stocking socks, the ballerina socks, these are super comfortable to walk in. And you just always on your feet. Nike Elements is definitely way to go. There no boxes is these the ones, a pair of ones. These bad boys, a pair of ones, spring ones. I forgot the name of these, but actually, I low key. I was wildly in Vegas with these. I took these to Vegas, and boy, uh, I got play some music. Back. Oh, my boy, money man, look at him, good. He jazz. Background hey. shit. I ain't gonna lie, boy. I was in Vegas, boy. VIP stepping. Yeah, these dope. Like I said, man, with the Jordans, I'm only buying ones. When I do buy shoes, so I'm actually done buying any other type of Jordans. Unless they 20s. Ah, these right here are some more ones right here. These are actually the bam. These are the Gucci ones right here. We going we back doing Gucci, right? The band up, right? Like Snoop said. Is the band up? 
So I, I got some shit. I'm trying to work to you. Trying to work some Gucci. Also, too, I seen um the dog Chico is telling me that they actually got these like re-releasing. Cause these was a 2012, 2013 release. And they figure ready to drop them like next year, the beginning of next year. So stay tuned with these. So if you don't got these, you like these, Gucci ones, they do got them coming out. But I see I got OGs. But yeah, I don't think I wore these yet. I might have worn them. I took them to Vegas. I'm not sure if I wore them though. Vegas was wild, honestly. It really was. I don't remember half the trip. But yeah, the Gucci ones. I got these from an IG page called Soul Connect. The dope on um, page. Like a buy, sell, a trade page, but they actually got a shop in North Carolina. That my dog Chico put me on. Y'all should check them out if you buy shoes, you know what I'm saying? This video ain't for everybody, but you know what I'm saying? Y'all already know about these. Yeah. Like my roommate Dev and Perk both said, like, they was all right with it if, but they couldn't find nothing to work with it. But me personally, I found some work with these like three times already. Like I said, I took these to Vegas too. You see the bottom on. I'm actually like starting to wear them more, but these are actually comfortable too. You might want to go a uh, uh, size up, half size up, or whatever your true size is. Cause these are the, uh, these are 11, I need 11 and a half in the Kyrie's. But definitely dope shoes. I'm, I'm big on socks, so I ended up finding, like I had these socks that actually match the green. You know what I'm saying? Cause green and like the lime green is, is so many different colors of that of this type of green, but these Nike socks actually went perfect with them. And I actually wore these. To, I wore them in Vegas once, but I wore them to go see the Avengers, which was a dope movie. I love these 3000, baby. Shout out Iron Man, man. I'm pretty sure everybody's seen the movie now, so we can talk about it. You know what I'm saying? But that movie, hey, <laughs> that bit was fire. I don't know what Clay Thompson talking about. It's crazy because Clay Thompson, his shoes, they actually did like a segment for him of like the Thanos shoes. They gave him like a Thanos shoe and like other shoes, but it's like, damn, like you shouldn't know Avengers when they got shoes for you. But it is what it is. But that with these shoes too, the Kyrie, these ones. I was so hyped by these shoes, think I wasn't gonna get them, right? I actually paid 240 for these shoes. Mind you, they came out as at 140. Yeah, like 140. But me listening to Perk, you know what I'm saying? Perk done bought his Nike Elements. Whatever. Be like, bro, you bought what you bought off GOAT, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, some people get shoes early, they be already be on GOAT stock X. So I'm like, yeah, I might not get on sneak out because I already got the Pro Show Foes. I went and bought these for 240. These shoes did not sell out on sneaker out. And I bought my 240. And guess how much they was on sneaker out? 140. So these are really getting put to use as wearing. I really don't hoop. I got I buy hoop shoes, but I'm more of like walk on my feet. You know what I'm saying? I'm that type of guy, you know what I'm saying? I just got hoop in the perk. I got a pair of Kobe's that I stick with. I always wear Kobe when I hoop, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Kobe. Best ever to do it. But yes, these are getting worn, you know what I'm saying? I'm more of a rock them. Then Stockham type guy, like Perfect Pell said. Like I said, I don't know if y'all know Perfect Pell's, but he got the most shoes, best shoe game, period. But these are getting worn by me. Just some fact, Perk hyped me up to buy them off go for 240. I could have got them for 140. So I spent a whole hundred dollars. I could have bought a whole another pair of shoes. But clap it up for Perk. Yeah, I know you're gonna watch this video. Yeah, but now if you get to our keys, man, I ain't gonna lie. Right now, like, I was so hyped about just getting the box along, you know what I'm saying? I got some hieroglyphics tatted on me, you know what I'm saying? I'm super tatted. If y'all didn't know, by the way, I'm always got like everything covered up, but I just felt like this this collab was like super dope. And this shoe is just super dope, man. Just super dope. I missed them the first two times they came out, but I was able to get my hands on them. And like, they real slept on me. I, I actually got both shoes, because both shoes different. I went through StockX. Actually, I didn't even buy these. Perk gifted these to me for Christmas, I want to say. Or New Year's. Well, yeah, I think I got them for Christmas, but I ended up getting them January, so they, they meet the whole, you know, I got them in January. You know what I'm saying? I still got the StockX tag up on it. And these, Kyrie did his thing with these, man, especially when you wore them. And Concept did the thing too, man. I really like those. I have Horace in the back. These was dope with the red. Yeah, I still haven't worn thing. I probably won't wear these. I ain't gonna lie, I might, I might start these though. It's some shoes, like most of all my Kobe's are stuck for the most part. It's some I haven't worn yet, like my what the Kobe's, my two pair of what the Kobe's. Uh, I probably won't never rock those, but yeah, man, the I keeps with Kyrie, super dope. 
Super dope. And I probably won't wear those no time soon unless it's a, a special gathering, special event. Ah. Do anybody know what these are? I still haven't worn these yet. I just picked them up. Uh, I did get them off GOAT. And if you want, like, damn, what ones are those? These are actually the Sports Illustrated ones that Reese's just came out. They had the green checker. I like, check all the way going through it on both sides. But, like, you know, some people, I don't know if you're a big sneakhead or, like, you follow shoes. Like, some people, like, whenever it's, like, extra threaded, you can actually, like, you can cut that whole threading off or you can cut, like, that thread off the check or, like, the whole shoe would be, like, cover, like, 12s. Most 12s, like, do that. Like, you can, like, or if, if they got, like, the Chinese 12s, Chinese New Year 12s, you can, like, cut like cut it all off and have the pattern that's on the inside so the whole shoe would be like that. But, yeah, these are actually the Sports Illustrated with the green and white on the thread. The guy actually took off all the thread. These look way better, like way better. Like my roommate Dev, he has these, but mine's look way better as you can see. Like the green threw it off. Well, I understand the concept, but yeah, I actually got them for like $30, $40 dollars cheaper just cause the thread was taken off, which I was like, that's a steal. And it was worn once, you know? So that's a steal, honestly. Hey, these look damn good. You really can't tell. Honestly, if you actually looking up, you see like where the thread, like, um, Needle was hitting it when they when they stuck them on the checks. I told you that's how the wave I really been on is like the ones. You know what I'm saying? I really been liking ones right now. Besides like all the other shoes I was, cause me I'm just not a uh, Jordan head. Like a lot of people just buy street. Like every Jordan that come out, people buy. Like every Jordan that come out is not worth buying. You know what I'm saying? So I can kind of say I'm a sneak head somewhat, somewhat. But the Crimson Tint ones just dropped. I had to double back on these. At first I wasn't gonna get them. I had to get them, you know what I'm saying? Just because the color, I don't see myself wearing a color like this, but I do got a shirt. I found a shirt from like TJ Maxx that go with these and Super Doe is a Nike shirt too. And I'm telling y'all now, I'm an advocate when it comes to shopping at TJ Maxx and Ross. Those are my stores, you know what I'm saying? Shop my dog, y'all fit, because we've been shopping there since freshman year Juco days, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, growing up, I ain't never had it like that, so. Hey, we gotta get the little discount stuff, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, the green, I really don't know why they put the green in it. The Crimson Tint, I don't know like what they was doing with as far as like putting the green. They should just put like a white shoe, shoe screen on there. But I mean, it is what it is. I feel like it's a dope shoe, but probably one one day with some polo, you know what I'm saying? Pink polo or something, you know what I'm saying? Throwback, yay, you know what I'm saying? Slight work. Y'all already know what logo that is. The best to ever do it. Kobe, Bean, Bryant, baby. Yeah. And these are the Pro Tro Foes. Me personally, my favorite Kobe's is the Waffles. The Kobe 3's. Threes. Like I said, man, like I know about shoes the most part, but I can't tell you like the history and how many points he dropped and da 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 da. But now nah, these are his draft day ones. We all know. He was drafted to the Hornets, traded, you know what I'm saying? 626, 96. So that anniversary is coming up, you know? But yeah, man, it's definitely a comfortable shoe. There's a lot of like uh, controversy over like the actual sole inside of them, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got the guys who cut the shoes open, and it wasn't a full bag all they coming through of. Uh, I don't know, I forgot what kind of traction inside the shoe. The Zoom bag, I believe it's the Zoom bag. It wasn't a full zoom back going all the way through the shoe, like how they say it's supposed to. But I don't know. They said like, oh, they like misinterpreted it, and all the new Pro folds supposed to have all, like all like the zoom bag in it. But whatever. But still a dope shoe. I might rock them. Got to find something to wear. Might get like a throwback starters like uh, Hornet jersey to go with them or a CP3 jersey. Like I said, man, I really been on the ones wave. Like I ain't gonna lie, like. Few years ago, I really wanted like rock with ones. Like I really like hated ones. You know what I'm saying? And I got a pair of bread ones. Like I just like cut grass. I'm like, man, fuck these ones. And like, and I was like, yo, I really like these. I really like these. You know what I'm saying? And now to introduce, y'all remember these from that video, right? Y'all remember? I was flexed with Perk. And Perk thought he was the only one that was gonna get them. Guess what? I got my turbo greens, y'all. I got them. What you say now? Yeah, Perk ain't the only one to flex. 
you know so when these came out i felt like it's dope but this color wave no lie this color wave is so hard to find something about these like you gonna wear all white or you just gotta be like real like sneaky with not even sneaky just crafty of like what you gonna wear with these but yeah i ended up getting a pair on uh, shop the boy marco he actually hit me up and said like he was in vegas at the time like he was in vegas like a week or two before i went to vegas he was like yo like they got him bro you know what i'm saying sent them money he got them for me and sent them to me and i appreciate you for that i really do because i really wanted these like i said in that video man y'all seen the video while i was flexing also got the purple shoe screen which i want to put in them you know what i'm saying then again you can't if you find something purple with a little like you know what i'm saying a little turbo green color in it it's cool i mean perk took his to vegas boy and he found a fit for him to go with him so i'm on the wave of ones you know i really like but they really comfortable too and like they really casual too and they i just don't see how he played them back in the days but he did you know what i'm saying what are these nikes is nah these ain't off white they're not off white ispas nike red element super dope i was able to grab them I don't know if they sold out, but these were super dope. I took these to Vegas too, one a few times. Like I said, super comfortable. These true to, true to size, I actually got 11 and a half. These are 11 and a half. My other reacts are 11. But these are a little bit big, so these are true to size. So get your exact size when it comes to these or any Nike Rex elements or Nike, regular Nike Rex. It is a difference, you know what I'm saying? But ISPA stands for Improvise, Scavenge, Protect, Adapt. Which is dope, you know what I'm saying? Like pirate. If y'all don't know what pirate stands for, but pirate stands for passion, inspiration, respect, ambition, time, and evolve. And like I said, I came up with that just I was in Canada one weekend and I hit up my boy Blue. And I was like, yo, I wanna come up with a logo, you know what I'm saying? For basically like, cause I got my degree in corporate fitness and wellness management. Yeah, I graduated, yeah. College graduate, I got my degree and all that, yeah. And my mind is coaching. And I just, you know, like, yo, like, when I want to start, you know what I'm saying, vision stuff, like, my Pirate Fitness, he came up with the logo. I was like, yo, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was dope. And this is what Pirate stand for. We came up with the logo and ran with it. These are super dope, though. I don't know if they sold out, but these ones are dope. I forgot the name of these. But like I said, man, Nike be doing their thing with the reacts and elements, man, seriously. And they actually came with most shoelaces they got i got the white ones and i never took them out they came tied like this so they come with a bag or the black ones but yeah super dope ah look who's here you see how he just just pop into the video like that yeah man i only pop up for special things but now nah, now we can do the unbox of these i put them on snap a lot of people was hand me up about it that's what the shoes was. Now y'all get to see. see. Oh, I know what they are. Uh, hype beast. My first pill. I didn't think I was gonna do it either. This is a big ass box. God damn. <laughs> you size 11. Jesus. <laughs> well, imagine your size 14. God damn. Trust me, I ain't a LeBron James fan. I respect him what he do and what he did and all that, but I ain't a fan of him like that. James Harden, not that good. But anyways, though, why why I really got these shoes? Cause Martin Lawrence, like, sound like Fresh Prince, Martin TV show. It's like my 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 favorite show, so I had to get them just because like the back on RP told me told me for if you was a big like you know what I'm saying a big Martin fan, you understand like the important of this. You know what I'm saying? You got like Gene in the background. Gina was Martin's girlfriend, ended up being a wife. His, like, is it all his, like, favorite sayings was on there. Like, you go, boy. He's always say that. Got the, what's up, what's up, what's up? He's always say that on there. He got GTD. GTD come from the episode season three, I think. Or season six went on with uh, Tommy. So he got the draw, got them draws. Like, he's writing his little black book. Like, with the females' names and them, but he write GTD bomb, got them draws. Did. <laughs> huh? On the fifth floor? 
Oh, from the fifth floor, bro, man, from the fifth floor, he's go like this, put the four up, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, like, shit was super dope. Uh, what else we got over here? We got, um, oh my goodness, Shanae. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Uh, what else you see? I really, it's hard to see. Like, I'm surprised they ain't got it, like, yeah. more on the shoot. Oh, God, you ain't got no job. Yeah, I just seen that. You ain't got no job. It's hard, though. But these dope, though. I like the colorway, though. Oh, these is big for 11. So I yeah. imagine, That's what I'm saying, bro. These are 11. Look how big these shoes is. Uh, bro, these are 11. Shit. God damn. What size you are? I'm like 12 and a half. Bro, these 11, these bitches huge. <laughs> <laughs> so I imagine nigga was 15, Damn. bro. It's like this big. Jeez. I do got one more pair of shoes. They, ha they haven't came yet, so we're probably going to do them on another video. Another segment. But this is my first episode of Heat Check. These are actually dope. I wanted to show these with y'all. Um, the other shoe that I got coming, it's great heat. It's great heat, you know what I'm saying? We're going to unbox those, you know what I'm saying, another set, man. Like I said, man, I told them, like, you've been busy, I've been busy, so we haven't been able to do anything together. Mm -hmm. But we're going we're gonna to do some skits. We're going to put some skits together, man. Like I said, the Turbo Green video, that was that was real. He caught me flex, you know what I'm saying? Flex. Caught me flex on that walk, but y'all see I got my Turbo Greens now, you know what I'm saying? Those are mine, size 11. But, yeah, we're going we're gonna to put some stuff together. And like I said, I've really been, like, doing shrink a lot of organ stuff right now. But I'm finna get back to it. Got more work videos. Work been busy with school and stuff. Like I said, my eye been messed up, so I really haven't been able to like do other stuff besides just report with Oregon stuff. And that's really it, man. Y'all just bear with me. Y'all see the eye getting better from all the other videos I done did. You told them why y'all messed up? Yeah. Yeah. I told them, but. Scuba diving. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's not the case. <laughs> the eye doctor said the same thing. I want to blame on the girl. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't blame it on the girl. Hell yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> but hey, like, subscribe, share the videos, man. Like I said, we're going up here. The page gonna be super dope. Like, like I said, we're gonna be all over the place with the page, man. So just we're gonna be covering everything and some everything. I just can't stick to doing one thing. I like going all over the place. So I'm gonna do everything, you know what I'm saying? I might do a video of of um life of perk, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, man. <laughs> I said, follow. I already dropped his 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 snap for y'all already early in this video. Like I said, follow this man. Right now they got this new thing on snap, as y'all aware of, like the ask questions, whatever. Somebody asked this boy about stealing purses. What you? Oh, you was stealing purses? Yeah, talking about I steal money out of purses. That's why I can't keep. <laughs> bro, who asked that? I don't know. I, listen, bro. Let me tell you something. Bro, I, I went in my mama purse one time, <laughs> and it wasn't even a steal. It was just like being curious. And I got a, I got the worst whooping ever. So I never went in a female purse after that. Like that's one thing you never do as a fuck a male ever going to female purse. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like a cardinal sin. Yeah. You know what I'm saying?